Ig tillu is ig tro, a kaihen antida a law. <laughs> Behind the guy there, and says, you'll, you'll understand why I didn't cut across that one. <laughs> Both because he is the director and because it was brilliant. So well done, John. <laughs> okay, so. Hi, um, Liam O'Gogon is my Hi, name. Liam. Um, I'm 55 years of age. I retired from teaching two years ago. I subsequently realized that I retired so that I could begin to learn. And um, hence, I'm here this week for the first time ever to have made space in my life to come here alone with an open mind. Um, I think it's an interesting process. I think it's very much a sage on the stage process, unidirectional. I think the last uh, contribution we had is probably what we need more of in this state. Uh, not so much the content, but I expo I, the sort of organic nature of the explosion, let's say. I'm just mindful of a couple of things. First, we talked this week a lot about crisis, but Ireland is not just in crisis. It's, in cha it's a chaotic society in crisis, which is a completely different thing. I mean, Rory Quinn talked last night that Finnish reinvention of education was based on a fundamental public trust in their processes and in their institutions. That doesn't exist. Eddie talked there about a, a four-cornered or the, the cross model. And let me just, the other model that's been talked in our society is the pillar model. We've talked about the pillars of society. And Gareth Fitzgerald has been quoted here as talking about the root. So let me just look at a metaphor of three pillars of our society which over the last 20 years have been totally destroyed. One is the religious or spiritual pillar we've all seen and been desecrated. So we've nothing of the older certainties to hold on to. The second one is the political pillar, destroyed the trust of the people through various tribunals, etc. And finally, in the last couple of years, the financial pillar. But it seems to me that the real elephant in this whole process is the root or glue that holds all of those together. The process which provides legitimacy for all of the other pillars and a mantle of authenticity for those, and that's our legal system. And I never see anybody anywhere challenge the fundamental corruption of thought. Note, I'm not saying that people are corrupt in the legal system. I'm challenging that there's a corruption of thought within our whole legal system, including the, ju the judiciary. And just remember that in an earlier referendum, I'm not sure if it's Maastricht or whatever in 1999, we were due to have a referendum on judicial misconduct withdrawn from the the, the referendum suddenly with no explanation and no public commentary whatsoever. Twelve years later, the judiciary are still deciding whether they will, they will allow anybody to challenge their own conduct. But more importantly, every media outlet in this state is controlled by the legal system. I have personal involvement over the last 20 years of being constantly rebuffed from, from coverage in the media because of legal advice, don't go there, don't go there. Now, unless we can show, we talk about showing deference to authority and speaking the truth to power, until we face up to the reality, we need to have a critical conversation about the real appalling vista of Lord Denning, is that we have a corruption of thought processes within our legal system, and that, for example, people, when I speak like this, I'm regarded as being seditious. What is real sedition in our society is not to challenge that fundamental wrong for which all of us citizens are responsible. And just to remind you, the quotation, final quotation from George Bernard Shaw, the unreasonable man, sorry, the reasonable man adapts to the world. The unreasonable man expects the world to adapt to him, therefore all progress depends on the unreasonable man. Thank you. Very good, well done. The very bad. The very back. Very back. The, the gentleman at the very back. Can I just, while we're doing that, I need to get a show of hands as to those who feel they would like to speak. Okay. Is it okay to, that we stick to about two minutes max per contribution then? Is that okay? Okay. Very good.